Now on City Ballet. Yeah. This was much better. Right now I'm the youngest male principal dancer and I'm 24. It's been a full year since my injury, my broken foot. You never think it's gonna take as long as it really does, but now I'm finally feeling like everything is back 100%. One, two, that's right, better. These, these past two weeks have been really great for my confidence more than anything. Getting out there and doing the principal roles that I was, that I was doing right before I got injured when I was feeling probably the best I've ever felt in my career. Yes. Awesome. Oh. God. Right after I broke my foot the last season, I said, screw this, I'm just gonna go drink a beer and watch football. I was so jealous of you. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> in, in, in one sense. I broke my foot, I broke my fifth metatarsal, and they put a titanium screw in my foot. I was on crutches so much that I was constantly had to lift myself up. I was like, oh, might as well keep going with this. <laughs> During the interview, I would come and watch the shows, and I would notice little things on, you know, how could I do that to make it easier? How could I do that to make it a little bit more flawless? All I could do was upper body stuff anyways, so I got in the routine of going to the gym every day. It was just a good time for me to target aspects of the body that were slightly weaker, like my back, for instance. Now, yes, I still have to think about it, but I know my foot's gonna be strong enough to also do all of the fun things that I like to do when I'm not dancing. Woo, good shot. Crushed. I grew up in Fairfield, Connecticut, just about an hour outside of New York City. A little sand lesson that we got in Scotland really helped. My, my dad and I, every time I go home, we try and get out to the golf course. All right, for the bird. I need this. Yes. <laughs> That's a great way to go out there and clear my mind and, you know, not have to be perfect at something. Too much pressure, Chase? A little bit. <laughs> right down the middle. Chase, are you having a gimlet or a wine? Gimlet. My entire life, my parents have been so supportive. Chase was four and a half years old. We decided to venture to the first Nutcracker in Stamford, Connecticut. He was so small, he was sitting in my lap. And the curtain went up, and I felt his little rib cage go, <gasps> and he didn't move through the entire thing. And when the curtain went down, he turned around and said, Mommy, can I learn how to do that? <laughs> it hadn't occurred to me to put a son in ballet. She would pick me up from ballet and I would say, Mom, I learned a tendu, I learned a plie, I learned a degage, I learned ronde jambes today, I learned how to do a tour. Like, oh, I was so excited. I think it's because of the athleticism of dance. He played a lot of sports. He was on a soccer team and a lacrosse team. And his ballet teacher said, I caution you that running will change the shape of your muscles and you could get hurt. And Chase said, I'll quit tomorrow. For eight years, we drove into New York City every single day, sometimes twice a day. We had a lot of people, including family members, who thought we were certifiably crazy. Cheers. Cheers. Just for whatever reason, the ballet god smiled on this boy. Did you hear about Bradford, that quarterback from St. Louis, oh. out for the year. Oh my God, that guy can't stay healthy. What did he snap something? ACL, knee. Oh. So. I hate hearing that. <laughs> when you have a kid who does this for a living, it just gives you the willies. You nervous at all about what's coming up? Yeah, I'm more excited than nervous. Is the foot feeling good? The foot feels good. I'm just looking forward to being busy again. <laughs> being busy again. Yeah, I don't feel fulfilled or, you know, I get jittery and kind of. Like yeah, my mood kind of goes down time. too yeah. when, I, when I'm not dancing. The doctor said you're going to be stronger after that operation. The bone will never break again. Yeah, right. I mean, there's metal in it, so I'm ready to do stuff that I was doing. Yeah. I can't wait to go back to ballet. <laughs> I can't. It's like, it's like watching you like a basketball game. Yeah. You know, a hockey game. Yeah. If you think about, it, you're like a world class athlete. I mean, you guys are on the edge. That's what I worry about. And if you don't push it, it's not exciting. You always have to push it. But if you push it, you have, always have the possibility of getting hurt. I'm just worried that they, they're not going to give me as much as they want to, just because they, now they're probably all nervous. And... But it's been a full year. I know. So you're, I know. you're ready. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell them that. OK. I'm going to show them that. Damn, <laughs> 
coming back, I really just want to be more consistent with everything that I do. I want to not go up into a turn or a jump and wonder if it's going to work. I want to do exactly what I plan every time. And I know it's not realistic. Quite beautiful. The worry of perfectionism that I feel mostly is having to be back to where I was before I got injured or even trying to surpass that. You know, you don't want to come back and be lesser of a dancer than you were. You want to come back and wow people. The reason that the New York City Ballet has never stopped because it still has Balanchine's beating heart.